Tonight, we are here to celebrate the master of suspense, Alfred Hitchcock. The great, well, the host is kind of like the ringleader of the whole thing. We present to you five previously unseen Hitchcock films, including, including a secret alternate ending to the movie Psycho in which the Bates Motel is revealed to be a snow globe inside the mind of a doctor's autistic son. Very intense stuff. Let, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Reeves. He, he keeps everybody in line. He's trying to keep control of the I, chaos. I, I think, I think. <coughs> oh. Seriously, seriously, man, are you okay? I think the proper term is in the medical, you have been what they might call brutally stabbed. Oh, how about that? Oh. Everyone, please remain calm. You can put her on the couch or on the floor. I don't care. Uh, tonight's show is Dial M for Main Course, kind of a play on words of Hitchcock's Dial M for Murder. I don't like this line of questioning! It makes me feel really uncomfortable, it's all! It is an audience participation murder mystery dinner theater, which are always a lot of fun. Uh, we get to poke at the audience, and the audience gets to poke at and make fun of us. What is it with people with knives? We can get stabbed and someone over there threatening me with a knife, too. We've been in the downtown area for a while now. We're still working towards the end goal of getting our studio open. There is no place in the valley like downtown Glendale. It's incredibly eclectic and homey, and the people are friendly. All of the business owners in the area are incredibly supportive of each other, easy to get along with, and they really want to see you survive. Now, aside from that, making it a great business environment, it has a beautiful environment that hosts multiple festivals and events, and. Uh, different things throughout the season that bring a lot of people into this area. As you can see behind us, things are kind of all over the place because we are under construction. We have broken ground, so we are making headway. Uh, we still have some back and forth to do with the city, but we're making progress. Uh, we've been experiencing a lot of interest, and we've done several more shows. So we've been doing the murder mystery series at the Gaslight. Could you explain to us who you are? why you're here, and why you look so much like Miss Reeves, a film enthusiast and executor of the Hitchcock estate, and who you share the same name with and look just like, and are standing in a spot where she died 10 minutes ago. And does any of this sound suspicious to you? This show has a really playful cast and a really playful script, uh, kind of focusing around the idea of the Hitchcock estate and finding never-before-seen Hitchcock films that were never released. Whoever killed Miss Reeves is likely still in this room, so Instead of just waiting around and let the evidence get further ruined, we are going to take matters into our own hands. Now, suspects standing up, I want you to go from table to table, talk to the people, to get their stories, look for holes in them. I play two different characters. The first one is uh, Miss Reeves, and then the second one is Marion Reeves. Uh, are they twins? We don't know yet. Uh, sisters, perhaps. How would I force strychnine into her system? I don't know. Maybe injection? Injection? Oh. It's a very interactive theater, so you're not just sitting out in the audience and watching the actors and actresses perform. You're actually participating in the theater production, which is really, really a fun way of getting involved with theater. You don't need to request your lawyer because I'm not a cop. I'm just an MC for what is turning less and less into a film viewing. You're also turning out to be less and less of an MC. Okay, eyes on you too. Yes. Haven't you ever seen a raven swooping to steal fast food at a McDonald's drive through Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. My character, to sum it up, is just plain crazy. I've done it. I've been here the whole time. Really? You've been here the whole time? Before anyone else came into the room and sat down and ordered drinks? You, you came here for Miss Reeves. That is none of your business, Why? Okay. One of the things that we've been most pleasantly surprised by is how supportive the downtown Glendale community itself is. Uh, we've been met with nothing but anticipation and enthusiasm from all of the small business owners and really just lots of offers to help and help promote. Everyone allows us to, to help spread the word about our shows. More eyes on you than anyone else. Oh, no. <laughs> whoa, 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 what are you doing? I have a theory and it makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> Luke did some really fun stuff with this script. He kind of lifted some stock from Alfred Hitchcock's films and managed to condense them into a cast of five. So I kind of represent just all of the craziness that can be found. In the near future, we're going to begin offering classes and workshops 
Uh, we would love for anyone and everyone who would like to learn about theater, learn about acting or directing or writing to come down and get involved. We are always looking for more support, uh, either through donations or investment. Uh, again, opening a business is challenging, and while we are making progress, we still have a long way to go. We're always looking for new ventures, new opportunities to perform, and more opportunities to build the community around downtown Glendale. Stop by once we get our doors open and say hi. We'd love to get to know you. We'd love for you to get to know a little about us. To learn more about Brelby, visit www.brelby.com or fan us on Facebook. Come out to come and see our dinner theaters, and like I said, you have a blast. Who <laughs> puts Altoids in a bottle and labels it horse tranquilizer? It's someone who really doesn't want to share. Or someone who I played the host. Uh, he's the guy that did it. So uh, it doesn't matter about spoilers because the show's already over.